Tell. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, everybody? Back at it again for another string of videos. You know how you usually do. I do a couple videos here, but luckily for me, there's a lot of topics in the news where I can do a string of videos here and there, so it's a rock and roll. Today I'm going to talk about the election, uh, the 2014 election. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to talk about the, frust the same frustration that got Obama elected, the same frustration that swept the Democrats in office during these years. It's the same frustration that allowed the GOP to take control of the Senate, grow majority, and uh, the grow majority in the Senate, yes. Fourth time in the fifth elections that this was quote unquote frustration for change is taking place, if you will. Uh, and don't get me wrong, it wasn't a ring endorsement of the GOP's plans. This was more of indicative to the frustration with Obama and the Democrats. If you look at Obama and the Democrats, they haven't, they just mostly talk. They've picked the wrong battles. They've they've catered too much to certain people. And I mean, let me let me use one example: gay marriage. Now, everybody's saying, "Oh, you're picking on them." No, look at it, look at it for what it really is. A lot of people do not believe in gay marriage. They'll vote on it. They may they may tell their friends they're like, you know, "Oh, I ain't no problem with it." But you want to know what? Deep down inside, they have a problem with. Look, all the, I mean, look before, beforehand, it wasn't a big ruckus. Look at some of the things Obama, I mean, it's just, Obamacare isn't a big deal. Because if Obamacare was a big deal, they'd have been on board right now. And I'm making this video in December. If Obamacare was such a big deal like they were saying it was, they'd have done something to put something to overhaul it. They would have had a plan, that, they would have had a plan by now where they can overhaul it. But you know what, they're, they're, they can overhaul it all they want, they're going to lose money. You can't do that. Because Obamacare, if you look at my previous videos, I told you guys Obamacare catered to the medical business. Because everybody's getting paid. And, and that's what y'all don't aren't listening to me. Did I think we're going to care? No. But after you know, after a couple times I did not know why. Because remember when the bird flu was here? I think it was like a, when Obama, I think it was like a year or two after election or before that. Within that span of time, there was the bird flu. And I, and, and I know it's like in every city, but where I was and where I live right now, I couldn't get a shot because I was under a private provider. But if you run under government's tab, you got the bird flu shot, which didn't make sense to me because I'm thinking to myself, if, you, if the people you want surviving aren't the lazy people who don't do anything on government assistance. The people that you won't want to survive are people who are working and will build for future built for the future, you know what I mean? You don't want, you want to give the birth to the, I mean, if it, if it came down to it, I'm not saying, you know, if somebody's dying, look at what they do. I'm just saying, you don't want to give the birth flu to the person who's not going to be, be deserving of the birth flu shot if it came down to it. I know it's picking lies, but at the same time, who would you rather have in life? Someone who's helping you build or someone who's taken from you and asking for more? That's just a common sense question. Now, like I said before, it wasn't a ring endorsement for the GOP, but just enough, you know, just a, just a bit, just enough. They just, the Democrats did enough to do quite a bit of damage. If you notice, the Democrats backed away from Obama on a lot of things. When they came for election, they, they stepped to the side. They should have really ring in Obamacare to the people, but it's the way the Democrats, the, the, the GOP, I have to give them credit for this, it's the way they shaped they shaped that conversation on Obamacare because, like I said, medical companies wanted Obamacare. You want to why? Because they were going to get paid. And uh, the Democrat the GOP, if you notice, they were saying it's going to raise prices, it's going to raise prices, it's going to raise prices, it's going to raise prices. But then, once the Supreme Court came and said, you know, it was a tax, 
Then they switched it over to its attacks. You know why? Because the GOP was hurting their base. Why do you think the GOP isn't in a real hurry to change Obamacare? The GOP is hurting their base. They're hurting the big business. You know, they don't want to hurt that. Like, let me put it this way. If you dismantle Obamacare, it's going to have a ripple effect on the system. Because they don't have a plan in place. They don't have anything in place. The GOP just doesn't. It, it, it just, it's realistic. They just don't. I mean, tell me what they have in place right now. Oh boy, this is this, this, this election. Like I said, I talk about the election, and, and and as far as where I'm from, where I live, my precinct, I saw who came up the was the older white people. I, I don't know why they didn't vote before, but I seen it in my area a lot more older white people. Maybe they just couldn't get out that time. I don't know. Maybe the van came around. Uh, but I'm gonna talk about how the next two years is gonna be made for better politics. Because whatever Obama has, the Republicans can now veto. I mean, it's, it's going to go through. And then the, the president's going to have to whip out the old, uh, the old red pencil saying, a red line and all that. You know what I mean? He's going to have to pull his king status out. President, presidential, what's the presidential decrees and orders and all that. You know, the Republicans are going to. You know, it's it's they're, they're running. The Republicans are going to run the country to a certain degree. You know, the polls have shown that two thirds of Americans feel that the country is on the wrong path. It seems like every four years, that I mean, it, it don't matter who's president. It always seems Americans feel that we're on the wrong path. <laughs> you know what I mean? But. Um, it's a new, it's a, the stock the record the levels of stock markets, you know, the, they got a drop in unemployment, but that's not counting the people who just dropped off the rolls, you know what I mean? Uh, Americans still feel that they're not where they should be. I mean, I, I made a video before about how the, the middle class dream was over, to a certain extent it is, because America has become a, uh, rich and poor. Everybody still brings up race and all the incidents that recently happened. I still don't believe that, because that's, that's just attributed to, that's them, that's just little incidents. I don't believe America is built on racing over, America is going to rich and poor because if you have the money, you can live wherever you want to. But if it was built on race, like, nigger, you wouldn't be living here. Excuse my friends, but that's how they would say it. But, uh, there is a perception that the economic system favors the wealthy. And with the erosion of the American dream, for some, and it's true to a certain extent, but at the same time it favors the wealthy, it also favors the poor and disenfranchised because as long as you can play crazy, as long as you can play you're broke, as long as you can play you can't fit in society, the government takes care of you. So this this election wasn't wasn't a slam dunk for the Republicans. It wasn't. They didn't bring. They didn't endorse the GOP by any means whatsoever. It was just that the, the Democrats. The Democrats have become the old Democrats lately. They're just. They can't do anything right. They're like you know, three Stooges, Mo Larry and Curly here. When they have the ball and they're going to score, the Democrats are always fumbling on the one yard line. They just can't seal the deal. So that's just my take on it. Excuse my voice, I got a little bit of a flu going on, so thanks. Peace.